What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the official MTG Arena YouTube channel with me, Matches Malone. I am so happy to be back here. You know, on this channel, we're only the best of the best. MTG Arena players unite to bring you the most amazing decks. I'm very, very honored to be here. So thank you very freaking much to, uh, you know, Wizards of the Coast for inviting me. And um, they even gave me access to the early access, where I got the chance to present you one of the newest mechanics out of MOM, March of the Machine. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the incubation hammering. Incubation, you might say, what is this? Well, when you incubate eggs, you create this little incubator here, this alien egg looking incubator, and you put X11 counters on it. So if you incubate, I don't know, four or three, as in this case with the progenitor eggs arch, you uh, get a 3 3 token. You know, which is pretty good. Well, it will be an egg though. So what happens next? Well, you pay two and you transform it into this freaking Phyrexian. And it will keep the counters. What? Transforming a token? That is right, my friends. These tokens transform. And that is pretty darn impressive. So that means that, you know, you pay two at the end of your opponent's turn. And now you get this Phyrexian onto the battlefield. And... There's also one more thing that you need to know. If you play this on turn two, you know, or let's say you play this progenitor Exarch on turn three. Now you incubate three X times. In this case, it would be one because you know you have only three mana. So you get this three, three egg on the freaking battlefield. It will be with your artifacts. Next turn you transform it. It will be able to attack in right away. The transformation doesn't give it, you know, new summoning sickness. You can use it right away freaking away so if you have i don't know seven mana now you can incubate three times three times which is pretty good and with this you know xr you can also tap it to transform one of your tokens so you don't even have to pay the two do you pay the two in this case you don't so and if you don't want to do it in the early game and you are up against something aggressive you can still play this as a blocker a one two blocker is not even half that freaking bad there's more ways to incubate though so let's go over them real freaking quick we have the inquisitor this knight here uh, will make you uh, incubate two tokens so you get a two two incubator token pretty darn good and whenever a permanent you control transforms into a phyraxian you put a one one counter on it so this will transform into a phyraxian and that means that it will come out as a three three thanks to the inquisitor and if you have two of them well now it will come out as a four four and so on we have the Phyraxian Awakening. With this, all of your Phyraxians now have Vigilance and you incubate four. That means you get a 4-4 out of this, which is pretty good. And all of your Phyraxians having Vigilance is pretty good because you can still attack in with this. Tap it later. Pretty darn delicious. We have the Blighted Burgeoning. This is very important, you know, to uh, make certain that if we have one green source, that now we have two green sources. Because we can put this, for example, on the Mirex. Now the Mirex will add a colorless and a green, which is pretty good. So with this, you know, you're ramping. But you're also incubating too. Pretty darn good, because that is what we're all about. Now we're getting into the big incubators. The Glistening Dawn. You incubate X twice where X is the number of lands you control. So if you play this on turn four, you get two four four incubator eggs out of this. And look, the four exits are all looking different. It's amazing. So you get two of them, pretty darn good. But in the end, you know, if you have like more lands, you can get like, I don't know, a 10, 10 out of this twice, which is pretty darn good. Sunfall, you exile all creatures and incubate eggs where X is the number of creatures exiled this way. So if you exile 10 creatures, now you have a 10-10. You know, end of your opponent's turn, you, in, uh, you transform this, you attack in with a 10-10. Beautiful. Pretty darn delicious. We have some more cards in here that will help us activate stuff. Like, you know, the Scraft's Hive. Uh, Scraft will protect us. Scraft's Hive is in here to make ourselves some creatures. And I will explain to you why very, very fast. We have the Phyrexian Sensor because most of our spells are Phyrexians. And with this, each player can cast more than one non-Phyrexian spell. So if they play, for example, a battle, and then they attack the battle right away, the battle will, you know, give them the chance to cast what's on the backside, but with this, they won't be able to do it. And non Phyrexians enter the battlefield tapped, which is also pretty darn good. So, 
No, he's, she is here. Mom Norn. So, Mom Norn is a 3-5 with Vigilance. And uh, Alish Norn, no title. Just good old Alish Norn. And the art style is amazing. So, the mother of machines, you know, the mom, is here. And uh, whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent, they lose two life unless they pay one. Are you paying the one? I hope you're not. For a three mana, you can transform her by sacrificing three creatures, but only in sorcery speed. And that is why we have this Craft's Hive. And with all of these, you know, little eggs that we have running around, we just transform it and we're good. With this, you incubate two, five times. That means you get five two two eggs. But then you transform all your incubators at once. Now all of your creatures get plus one, plus one and double strike until end of turn, which is insanity. Then you destroy all other permanents except for artifacts, which is your axe, your lands, and Phyrexians, which is everything we have but the Blighted Burgeoning. But you know, if we have, you know, the chance to destroy everything and just lose one Blighted Burgeoning or two, that, that is a price that I'm willing to pay. Scraps Hive might also suffer, but that is still all right. And then you get the Elish Norn back. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just remember that they can, you know, target the Elish Norn. That is why the Scrav is so good to protect the Elish Norn from being destroyed. Then we have the Sleeper card in the deck. The only reason why I'm playing green in this deck. Glissa, the Herald of Predation. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, you choose one of three modes. Either you incubate two twice, so that means that you get two, two, two acts, or you transform all of your incubator tokens, all of them. So you fill the board with all of these tokens. Now you play Glissa on turn five. All of them now can attack in right away. And if that is not good enough, now all of your Phyrexians also gain first strike and death touch until end of turn, if you're choosing that mode. This is insanity. So yeah, we are kind of mid-rangey, very aggressive. And there's one last card, one last card that makes this all so good. And that is the Grafted Butcher. When it enters the battlefield, Phyrexians, which is all of our creatures, gain menace until end of turn. And also, it's a Lord, so they all get plus one, plus one. For four mana, you can sacrifice a creature or an artifact, so an egg, if you want to, or a creature, and return this to the battlefield as a sorcery, which is insane. So if you're in kind of a stalemate situation, the Grafted Butcher gets destroyed by the Elish Norn, you bring it back, all of your creatures now have mana. shabwam, you attack in, you win the game, easy peasy, lemon, squeezy. There's also a slight, you know, poison theme, but it's not what we win with. We have three seed cores, three secluded courtyards because of Phyrexian. We have three Myrixes so we can make ourselves more mites to destroy to the Elish Norn. All the overgrown farmlands, not a single basic land. So, thank you all so very much. This is the Face Hugger deck. I'm very happy once more for the invite, so thank you all. And please make certain to subscribe to the channel. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those machine games. Are you ready to incubate? I know I am. Oh my lord, we have all the colors. That is just amazing. All right. So, we do have also two Scraft's Hive, which is pretty darn good. So, if we do find our, uh, you know, our Mama Norn, we will have a very, very good chance of, you know, just transforming her very, very freaking fast. Very good. Also, we have Glissa in hand, so things could not be better, is all I'm freaking saying. Also, why is my... That is bad. You go up here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. So, um... Scraft's Hive is online. That is very good. We have the Burgeoning, uh, you know, the Blighted Burgeoning here as well. All right. Would this be a heated Sugo deck? I don't uh, know. I will be putting it onto the uh, Shattered Sanctum. So if we do draw another land, we're super good, you know? Next turn, we can then just uh, go ahead and play our Glissa if we want to. Invasion. Okay, all righty. You're shooting my little mite. Okay, go ahead and do that, my friend. Go ahead and do that. I do have another Scruff's Hive, which is pretty darn good. And uh, I can... I hope that I do find a land here. I did find a land here. All right. Phyrexian it is. So, um... How am I doing this? I will be playing another Scruff's Hive. And if they want to attack in, I will just, you know, incubate. 
I think that that is the perfect thing to do here. Just the perfectest thing to freaking do here. And with the sunfall, we will have some fun, you know? Fun fall for our opponent. <laughs> Not for us, though. <laughs> okay. So they can attack in. I would just block with my incubator token. That is just very darn good. Alrighty. They are doing it. So they might have an answer here. But if they do, I can still just sunfall, you know? Which is also pretty darn good. If I say so myself. And I do say so myself. Oh my, okay, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not bad. So they transform it here, which is good, you know? They can do so, because I would just... Uh... Another one of those. Not even half that bad. So I am attacking in. I should have not attacked in. But I will be doing this now. Okay, so I have this little incubator token here, which is pretty darn good. I like that a lot. I can bring down the Phyrexian sensor next turn, but I think that I will be going with the Galissa, to be honest. I think that that is the right freaking call here. Are you just shooting it? The invasion of Innistrad. I mean, they can make themselves some Zombos. That is alright, you know. No worries here at all. I like that a lot. Zombos are kind of my favorite tribal ever, so yeah, go ahead and do that. I would like to see some zombies, please. Can I, can I have zombies? Nope. You're just not doing anything? I bet that they have another invasion of Phyrexia here. Otherwise, they would not be doing whatever they're doing. Alright, but we did find Elish Norn, which is pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. So, will you transform it now? I wonder what they're doing. They got rid of... What? Oh, oh, they were with the, yeah, with the token. The lightning strike, okay. And another lightning strike? Yeah, alright. That is still freaking fine with me. Still freaking uh, fine with me. They will have this zombie now, but you know, that is just two zombies, so I don't really care about that too much, to be honest. It is just two freaking zombies, and I do have a 4-4 coming down very, very soon. The Fable of the Mirror Breaker, alrighty. And... That is all you can do, my friend, because I have the censor. You got censored, my friend. You got censored. We got another Elish Norn here. Hmm. Let's do this, though. Let's give all of our Phyrexian first strike and death touch. I think that that is pretty good, you know? If they want to block here, go ahead and do that, my friend. Go ahead and freaking block. I could not... Care less. Alrighty. So, once more. They can do stuff if they want to, but we're only taking slight damage, you know? And I can do this over and over and over again. Just bring it down to Gleesa Pain, my friend. Oh, yes, I can. I wonder what they have. Another Blood Tide Harvester. Okay, it comes in tapped, which is, you know, exactly what I want to see here. And they scoop! That game was pretty darn delicious, not gonna lie. I really freaking liked it. Oh my, we're going first here. <laughs> what is this, Krimis? I mean, it might be. It might be, Evil Malone. Just freaking Krimis. All right, I like our hand here, you know. Even though the Crafted Butcher is not looking that good if you don't have creatures on the battlefield, but I think it is still all right. And the point is that we can just play it afterwards. So, uh, yeah. We're up against Akia Mas Maristaro. I... I never heard that name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So, what are you playing, my friend? Uh, they're deciding on the land they want to play here, which is alright, you know? Sometimes people just take some time playing one single land. Alright, Maestro's Theater. Interesting. It's a red source. So we got all the colors we need. Now all we've got to do is to find some power... Some, you know, incubators, and we're very happy. I mean, we do have one incubator here, but is it good enough? I don't know. And we do have two Phyrexian sensors, which is pretty, pretty darn good. All right, the seed core is here. And we'll be attacking in first. If they want to destroy my butcher, go ahead. All right, and here is the Phyrexian sensor. If they want to destroy that, that's also kind of, kind of all right with me, you know? Go with the cut down. Alright. 
Still fine with me, you know, I do have two sensors. So I'm good with that. Old Rotstein. Welcome, my friend. Norn's Inquisitor. I mean, yes, we want to incubate. Because we can also flip that, you know, during our end step. Uh, during their end step. So we're kind of alright with this. And next turn, I will be playing the Exarch and incubate twice. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Not gonna lie, that is pretty darn good. And we can always, you know, bring back that Butcher if we want to. If we freaking want to. So, are you destroying my uh, Inquisitor now? But that is like the only thing you're gonna do, my friend. Because I have the sensor. And it does look like you have, you know, too much going on for you right now. This sensor is just so good. It is like nothing. And that is the only thing you're gonna do here, my friend. That is the only thing you're gonna do because of the sensor, you know? You can only play one thing. Only freaking one. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh, baby. Well, we're still doing this. And then we can, you know, incubate afterwards. Which is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. So, we have two incubator tokens coming down right now. And slamming in with these two. Oh, it's freaking delicious. So they can destroy one thing if they want to. Go ahead, destroy one thing. Shadrit's Edict. Yeah. It did what it had to do. It's still only one, you know? Still only freaking one card they can play each turn. All this mana won't do you any good, my friend. Slow Gurk. Alrighty. So, um... Yeah, let's bring down Glissa here. <laughs> Transform all the incubator tokens. They're now four for us. That is just so good. Oh, I... They could have blocked here. But they knew that they were done. <laughs> yes, baby. That is right. That is the power of incubation. Facehuggers ain't got nothing on us. Get out of here. We're up against Evil Star, a good friend of mine. So I'm very, very excited here. All right, we do have a nice curve. Hello, hello there, my friend. So the seed core is down, Scralf is down. And I will be playing the Inquisitor next turn. And I hope that we do find one more land. That would be pretty darn cool if we did. Okay. Let's bring down the Inquisitor. Do we have a counter spell in hand? They do. They... Do have a counter spell, the syncopate even. Well, in that case, at least I can attack in, you know, that's pretty good. So, are you controlling here, my friend? Are you playing hardcore control? Sure looks like you do. Well, we're missing a land. Cancel attacks, no attacks. Let us hope that we can bring this down. We can! Beautiful, freaking beautiful. So I will protect my uh, butcher here. Unless they have a board wipe. You know, if they do have a board wipe here, there is nothing I can do about it. <laughs> There's just nothing I can do about it. Oh my lord, we cannot find another land. No, that is so whack. They have double the lands we do. I do not like it. Do not like it one singular bit. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Wow. Okay. All right. I think we're dead here. I mean, hey, they now have more than double the mana we do, you know? Just more than double of it. Our land! Oh my! Okay! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let us hope that we can bring this down. Please don't have a counter spell. Just don't. Just for once, game. Be cool. Don't give my opponent a counter spell. Oops. Sorry, I guess. Another mind splice! Okay. Alright. Let us see what our opponent does here. I mean, I still have the Glissa, but it's not good enough. And maybe they don't have anything here. We will see. So right now they have like more than triple the mana. Exactly triple the mana we do for instant and sorceries. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> it's just so bad. <laughs> the sensor is pretty good, you know? It is pretty good. It will keep him from doing too much, you know, crazy things here. But uh, I really hope that uh, we can um, we can get one more or two more lands here. Because right now, 
This is like no bueno. No freaking bueno. Oh my lord. Okay. All right. Look at them go ham. Look at them go ham. There is another land. I like that. Um, okay. Giving all of my Phyrexians vigilance now. Slamming in there. So. I could block some of them if I want to. But do I really want to? I mean, with this Kralf, I can just get in there, you know? If they want to wipe the board... They want to draw five cards, but that is all they're doing this turn. That is all they're freaking doing this turn. So I like that, not gonna lie. And uh, if I do find a land here, I can play Glissa. So we will see what they're doing here. Just see what they're doing here. Like the Fraction Sensor keeps them from doing anything. That is pretty good. And if I do draw a land, Glissa will be here. So. Question is, what do they want to do? Nothing. I like it. And here is Glissa. Oh, freaking perfect. Oh, freaking perfection. Do you really have a counter spell again? They do have a counter spell, don't they? Freaking don't they? They do. They really uh, do. Okay. All right, the syncopate. I mean, yeah, oops, <laughs> oops. <laughs> so, um, I don't have a white. I will have to pay with my life, but that is okay. They cannot wipe the board. We, uh, we are good, you know. They already played a spell, so for real now, nice. Pretty nice. Oh my lord, for real now? That is how you're doing me, game? That is how you're doing me? Okay, all right. No worries here at all. None so ever, you know, I can live with that. Not, I, I don't want to live with that. So they get the Teferi here. Oh my sweetest lord. They're getting the emblem. Also pretty good. Yeah. Things worked out for them pretty well, not gonna lie about that. Not so much for us. <laughs> not so much for us. <laughs> that was just bad. That was just terrible, man. Terrible, not gonna lie. I, I'm a little bit disappointed here, game. Just ever so slightly. <laughs> the Ottawa. Really? That is how you're doing me now, game. Okay, so what are you doing, Evil Star? What are you doing? Oh, oh, okay, all right, that's fine. Paying with life, giving this one protection from uh, white. Attacking Teferi, we want to get rid of that. Now let's Sunfall here. Beautiful. So, what do we get? An 11-11. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> okay. All right. So, all we've got to hope for now is that we can, you know, uh, bring down the pain. I might also, like, you know, just go ahead and uh, incubate even more here. I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. I mean, they could have a lot of stuff still going on for them, you know? I would not like that too much. So, here's the Mirex. Bringing down the uh, Blighted Burgeoning. And end of their turn, I can still transform one of these. I will pay. Because you know I can still transform them. And if they don't have card draw here, we're kind of fine. Kinda. Okay, three Mind Splice Apparatuses! Mind Splice Apparatus! So now watch him have another um, Silver Scrutiny here. I would not be surprised. Well, a little bit, because they already played one. 
So let us see how this turns out. Activating you here. Activating you as well. And activating you. Now we would just be attacking in with everything. The Wandering Emperor! Kind of expected. Kind of freaking expected. Not gonna lie. Okay. And we'll be ending the turn here. If they do have like, you know, a board wipe, well, then I do have the sun fall. The sun will fall, my friend. Okay. All right. That is still kind of fine with me. Kind of. I'm not a huge fan, but it's still kind of fine with me. So what you got here, my friend? What have you gotten here? Uh, can I play the Glistening Dawn? I can. Yes, I can. So. Making the White Samurai. I wonder what else they can do here. And then I will play the Skralv as well. Here comes Skralvy boy! Okay! So, we have another Phyrexian Sensor on the battlefield. What a fight, man! What a fight! I cannot believe this battle. The battle of the century. So, even if they want to attack in, I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, right. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. All good. All good. Like, you know, Blue Sun's Twilight. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why the heck not? Alrighty. But I think I win here? Question mark? I think I win because I still have these incubator tokens. So yeah, good game my friend. Good freaking game indeed. Oh my sweetest lord get. Out of here. Triple mind splice apparatus could not save you from the likes of me because I will incubate. You, you, everybody gets an incubator egg. Get out of here. We are up against Jack Rose. It's Jack from the Rose on the Gray. We're going first. I mean, there must be a reason why we have all of these Norns Inquisitors, you know? There must be a reason. <laughs> I don't know what the reason is, but I want to see what it is. Is there a Skralf coming down right away? There is. It's going to be Skralf on Skralf Violence. All right, Phyrexian Inquisitor, you're up. Well, nor an Inquisitor, the Phyrexian Sensor. Are we up against a Phyrexian Tribal? There is a chance we are. There is a small and significant chance that we are. If they attack in here, I will block because I can just play another Inquisitor. All right. They are attacking in. Getting rid of Skralf is always good, you know. Hopeful Initiado. All righty. Well, we're bringing down the sensor then. So what you got now for me, my friend? What have you gotten? The Fateful Absence. Well, that is pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay. Ooh, the overgrown farmland, eh? That is also pretty darn tasty. Okay. Incubating once more here. Uh, my plan right now is to um, let them, you know, attack in... They have a double one of those, okay, and I can just sunfall here, which is pretty darn good. I like that a lot. Well, if I ever get the chance to sunfall, it is. If I ever do. I will not incubate the tokens here. Well, there you go, my friends. That is just freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. So, exiling all the creatures. We got a 5-5 five five and a scoop. That is all there is to. That is how, my friends... You beat an aggressive deck with one board wipe and a 5-5 five five on the battlefield. Get out of here. We have time for one last game. We're up against Yumi. You, me, you, 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 us together. We're going first. Oh my lord, I love it. And the more, you know what I love even more? 
the that we have like the blighted burgeoning here. Okay. But here's Kraft's hive. And next turn I will be bringing down the burgeoning so that I can bring down Nisa as soon as freaking possible. Do you really you really destroy that right away, Yumi? Do you really? That would not be cool at all. I would not appreciate it one singular bit. The Ozolith. Okay, that is not what I thought would happen. So I'm okay with that. Uh, bringing it on the Mirix. So that the Mirix now can make mana. Colored mana. That is pretty good. So, if we do draw one more land, we can play the Glissa right away. Which would be pretty good, not gonna lie. The Loam Speaker. There it is. There it is. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's incubate twice. And chill. <laughs> Just chill, you know. Next turn I'm going to play uh, the two Inquisitors. You know? Um, or maybe... Oh, the fight rigging, eh? Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I can still do a lot of dirty things here, and I like that a lot. So, they're fight rigging here like this. That is still fine, you know? Making another might. The secluded courtyard. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. We can do this twice. I think that that is pretty darn freaking good. So! <laughs> so! <laughs> this ain't bad at all, you know? Just uh, look at my board here. That is just <laughs> the way it was intended. So, what are you going to do now, my friend? Even if you are fighting something here, it's still alright. I really hope that we can find Elish Norn here. That would be so cool. I really, really would like that. Really would. So they can get something out of this, which is still alright, you know. A Phyrexian sensor would have been very darn good, but we don't have it. We only have the Inquisitor. Which is still pretty good, you know, I'm not gonna lie about it. So they get another fight rigging. Okay, I can live with that. I really can. And, um... Uh, we will see what we get here. But you know, giving all of our Phyrexians first strike and everything is going to be good enough. No Mama Norn, sadly. Sadly, no Mama Norn. Okay, alright. But uh, we still have enough to at least incubate twice here, you know? So all of my Phyrexians get uh, first strike and death touch. I'm attacking with everything but you here. Good game. Good game, my friend. Good game. I do have blockers here, so that is pretty good. Oh, they knew it is over. They just knew, but still, you know, they, they just, they're still all right. <laughs> they're still all right. They still have two life. <laughs> I did not do the math. I will admit it. I did not do the math. And they scoop get out of here, my friends. That was a nice run. That was a very nice run with the incubator tokens. Oh, did I enjoy myself? Yes, I did. So, see you all next time. All oh, these games were amazing. I had one game where I played against Philippa, a good friend of the channel, but I had no lands to play. So, uh, I didn't really want to show a game where I just got land screwed. I hope you can forgive me. And any last uh, thoughts on the deck? The deck is pretty fun. I think maybe, maybe you can cut all of the green cards but the Glissa. And uh, just sprinkle in, you know, some green. And, uh, you know, together with the secluded courtyard and the seed core, I think that you will be able to play the Glissa anyways. So if you want to cut the Glistening Dawn and the Blighted uh, Burgeoning, you can do that. That is no worries. You can absolutely do that. And just go on a, you know, uh, black, white pack, you know. Just play those. More Phyrexians. And uh, have fun with the incubation. I am very happy that I'm here, you know, and if you haven't done so already, maybe you can check out my channel. We are going to 22,000 right now, which is insane. So thank you all so very freaking much. I hope you enjoyed. This is the MTG Arena official YouTube channel. Please make certain to subscribe here as well. There will be oh so many videos with oh so many cool content creators. I'm Matches Malone and I will see you all next time.